Hey, it's Gavin, and I thought I'd give you a quick tour around the gym, show you what some of the stations are. We have a lot of stuff fitting in this uh, small space. It's a two-car garage that's been converted into a, a, a martial arts training gym, and also I have uh, weight training equipment here as well. Anyways, we'll take a look around here. So, over here I have a TV. I can watch training vid videos and stuff, and, and uh, I have a, because I have a, we do sticks and stuff as well, so I have to cover it up with, um, I use a board that I have special, um, I bent some L brackets, kind of bent them to catch the TV on both sides, so I can cover up the TV and have a, a whiteboard that I can, I can draw, write up drills or different things I'm working on. Plus I sometimes write things on this um, other um, paper pad on the wall. Um, we have a, the TV here, which is great. Also, over here in the corner, there's a, a sound bar thing here. And um, the bottom, uh, I use my phone here to, um, to play music. And then I have my other phone, my one I use. I have a time, uh, uh, interval timer. I think it's called HIT. And I really like it It's because you can time your um, different stations and stuff. And I also have a different timer, one of these Jim Boss timers I like too. But anyways, um, I also have um, TRX uh, suspension trainers from the ceiling. Uh, I can attach those and do various things on that. And also I have, here I have a tennis ball that's attached. But I have all kinds of other things I attach to. I have a, I have a grip thing. And I have uh, up here, there's a, a water buoy. I sometimes attach that one. And it's great to hit with sticks and stuff. And um, lots of cool stuff. Over here I have a, a homemade grapple dummy that I made and it's basically made out of foam and PVC and uh, kind of a, a wire frame of electrical wire uh, just to hold the PVC kind of skeleton together and it's actually sitting on a massage chair uh, but sometimes I'll throw him on the, on the ground and do drills with him. I've got some uh, cardio equipment, a treadmill, a rowing machine and there's actually a cross train over here too. Um, there's a fan in the background there. We've got some fencing swords back there and some fencing helmets. I love using the fencing helmets for all kinds of drills. They're so much fun. Um, and back there on the wall there, there's uh, some kick pads and great for kicks and knees and stuff. Got a bob here and this bob has been customized so I have an attachment for arms on them. So these arms actually move. Plus I, I store um, a body shield on the bottom which is great for, for kneeing or kicking. With this other pad, it has enough depth that you can actually kick underneath it, so it's kind of like a groin. So that's really cool. I've got the place, I've got mats, 12 feet by 12 feet of mats. Um, over here, up here, is this PVC shelf I made, or actually ABS, ABS is the black pipe. And um, it's really easy to work with. You do a special glue for, uh, for ABS, different glue for, for PVC. And um, I just made this little frame and hung it with chains. So three holes in the ceiling can hang this thing. And I've got Bosu, uh, those Bosu ball things, those half balls, and then some physio balls. And they're great for various stretching and exercises and stuff, some of the stations we use. Um, over here I got the speed bag. And sometimes we swap that out with uh, like a target thing I'll put on there. Just for some for some speed training with a with a, like a it's like a paper target but it's laminated so it doesn't get all worn out. Um, up top here is this kind of I used um, chicken wire and I made this shelf uh, suspended from the ceiling. So there's a, like a piece of plywood or something in the bottom to to hold that square shape. But there's all kinds of equipment up there stored. Plus I have bins over here with more equipment up in those bins. And then this is actually a sauna, this, this, this little square thing here. It's a, um, what's it called, like a dry sauna. Um, inf uh, infra or maybe it is infrared, I can't remember what it's called. And um, it's pretty cool. And below here I got some, um, some sticks and, and plastic training swords and stuff like that. Over in the corner I got some more training sticks and some different... Uh, Bits of equipment here. Uh, oh, this thing on the wall here, that's a grip trainer. That, that's hooks from one of those suspension things. And you can do exercises with it and it, it improves your grip too. Some more 
some Muay Thai kind of focus mitts. Got various bins up here with different equipment in, uh, gloves and focus mitts and whatnot. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, um, then I've got various weight training equipment, some kettlebells, medicine balls. Uh, this little bin here is full of uh, knives and stuff, different training knives. Uh, I've got some nice aluminum ones. I've got some karambits that I made the string. I put some string on them. Training karambits. These are actually uh, made out of uh, recycled foot files. So it's a piece of wood, but it's already good enough shape. We just sanded them down and painted them. And yeah, all kinds of stuff like that. And over here I got some dumbbells. I've got some various uh, windy thing for forearms. This actual ring here is actually 10 pounds. It's a solid stainless steel um, kind of seal for some kind of pipe or something I found at a yard sale. But I thought it would be kind of cool to um, put foam on it and kind of use it as like a chisaw ring. And I've got some skipping rope up here as a helmet. Got this one. Someone got this one at Value Village for like five bucks. I think they're like regularly like 60 or 70 bucks new. You can find a lot of stuff used really cheap. Um, over here, uh, we got, apparently that's my name in, in, um, Chinese or Japanese. Um, anyways, like, uh, there's a chair to put your shoes on or whatever. In the corner here, there's, um, some, uh, foam rollers and there's some various trigger point therapy balls and different stuff like that. And then I've got this wooden dummy. This is one I actually made myself. Whoops. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's actually got, I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually bungee cords on the side. So it actually pivots. You can push it and it'll come back. It'll actually, you can control the resistance and make it so you can actually push it around. Um, there's various targets on it. The tennis balls are so you can hit it with your elbows or you can hit it with weapons. So it's kind of cool. It has some real versatility. So it works pretty good. And then um, I've got, uh, here's a, a full size, um, like a, kind of like a, I forget what those call those, like a full size heavy bag. And I put various targets on it for um, different, uh, uh, so I can be more accurate with the knees, the groin, the thighs, the floating ribs, kidney area, and the solar plexus. Plus up top here I have, these are um, some arms I made, I made these arms a while back before I had the wooden dummy and and um, they're kind of cool because uh, I just used a weight training belt and some metal kind of L bracket things it's kind of wobbly though but at this point I now that I have the wooden dummy I don't really usually use them as as uh, like arms actually I, I often use them as like kind of like focus mitts because you can you can actually hit them you can actually hit them and it's pretty cool and they kind of they kind of work like focus mitts so that's kind of cool, and um, and now that I have the dummy, and what else do we got here? Oh, we got this newest thing is the tires. I just finished building this. There's three tires right from the they go from the ground up to the towards the ceiling, and they're cool for like the bottom one. I've been playing around with kicking it, and uh, my low line kicks and stuff. And then I've also been using the weapons on them, the sticks on the tires, it's pretty cool. And this thing here is actually a bicycle frame upside down that I cut up. The wheel would be up above this thing, that's where the wheel would be, the handlebars would be down here. And what happened was uh, I attached this thing, and so how it works is um, it spins down. Here, so I'll back this up and I'll show you. So this thing spins, so you can come up really close, you can work on cover, I mean, work on bobbing, weaving, cover, whatever, you can play with it then. Moving around, kind of thing like that. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun little station. And let's see what else we got. Uh, basically, yeah, well, this thing on the floor here is, uh, it's just electrical tape, but it's um, basically a agility ladder like you see, you know, soccer players use them or, or whatever. But I added an X to it so I can use it for some of my footwork I do. And these little number things on the floor are actually just um, a yoga mat cut up and then numbered, little squares numbered, because you can throw them on the floor and uh, people can walk right over them and they're fine. And I number various stations, I usually have about a dozen stations, and I set the timer for a minute each station and uh, with a 10 second rest just to get to the next station. 
and it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. The timer is really great because uh, you know you don't you don't ask you know are you done yet kind of thing. You just keep going, and uh, so that's pretty much it. That's most of the most of the stuff in here. You can see around there. It is the little circle here. Oh, it's kind of blurry, I think, but there we go. That's pretty much it. Okay, well. Maybe it'll give you some ideas to add to your training space. Alright, take it easy.